good yeah clearly written there kuni levin spiel model for uh, fluidized bed i think in the last class we have discussed what is the background for this model okay the bubbles two important things because the bubbles when they are going up in the bed they have the clouds and also they have the wake right and second greatest thing is to find out how many solids are there in the wake okay even though sometimes absurd values you will get for the measurements but these are the two important things so that means we have bubbles with very very less number of solids then we have clouds and wakes around the bubble with a different uh, solid concentration around that then we have away from the bubbles the emulsion emulsion is always with uh, at umf with epsilon mf equal to void age corresponding to minimum fluidization void age okay so th these are the important things now we can imagine how the reaction is taking place right that means the most of the gas is entering in the bubbles and there are some solids in the bubbles okay there are some solids in the bubbles so first is reaction of gas in the presence of so because the catalytic reaction unless that catalyst is there it won't react because there are some solid particles in the bubbles so gas will contact them rea some reaction will take place there so that means some amount of gas is converted in the bubble itself then because of the concentration difference it will go to the clouds and wakes because those are the nearest particles and concentration is more in those definitely in these clouds and wakes then there will be some more reaction so whatever is left after that after the reaction in uh, clouds and uh, wakes then that goes to emulsion so beyond emulsion it cannot go anywhere so under steady state conditions all the gas which has gone to emulsion should react there so the uh, the reaction and also transfer of all these things all these steps we will see at the end of the reactor very easy to imagine no i think in very very simple manner i am telling you so now that is what we have to predict now using equations so you have to write equation now what is the reaction in the bubble and what is transfer to the clouds and wakes and whatever is transfer to clouds and wakes there is the reaction again transfer to emulsion once it gone to emulsion there is no nowhere it can go because there are walls so then it has to react there and the combination of all these steps is the conversion which we will see at the end of the reactor when you measure your concentration of reactant okay so um, that is the overall picture of this bu bubbling bed model and uh, what uh, the richardson not richardson okay davidson and harrison that model what they did was all the solids are there only in the emulsion but they did not identify this clouds and wakes even though they know that they are there okay so all the solids are in the emulsion and gas goes in the bubble there is transfer between bubble and uh, you know emulsion and then using those two steps only they have developed another model that is called two phase model and this is called three phase model because we have bubble phase clouds and wake phase and emulsion phase right so that we are not uh, actually discussing in fact that will be a special case of three phase model if you remove yeah if you remove clouds and wakes okay yeah it's not so simple the way we tell but i think you know you can imagine that that more easily but more predictions very well accepted one till now is kuni levin spiel bubbling bed model that's why we are now discussing because that's a famous model where it can be used for not only for reactions it can be used for mass transfer that means you know for removing uh, gases adsorption you can use adsorbent gas in a fluidized bed solids okay as adsorbent solids and then gas you send let us say so2 you want to is a pollutant you want to adsorb that so2 on the solid phase no reaction physical adsorption now you fluidize with this gas effluent gas okay wherever you have that flue gas wherever you have so2 this so2 when it is fluidizing this adsorbent right so it will go and stick to the surface because of the adsorption characteristics and even for that same bubbling bed model can be used okay not only that even heat transfer when you want to heat the solids for example you have high uh, temperature in the gas and low temperature in the solids you are heating the solids even bubbling because bubbles you cannot avoid 
So, again how heat is transferred? Most of the heat is coming in the form of bubbles, because you are sending gas to fluidize and our assumption is that most of the gas is going in the form of bubbles. That heat is transferred to clouds and wake and after that, that heat is transferred to emulsion. It is very easy when compared to the reactions. So, that is a very famous model used for many, many cases. So, that is why let us discuss this one and before that as usual, we should have some assumptions and there will be many, many uh, serious assumptions like the first one itself is assume all spherical, spherical bubbles and most of the time we draw experimentally, we also saw that bubble will be something like this, okay? like heart. Okay? So, that is how the, the bubbles actually when you measure it looks. So, that is why let us take the assumptions. The first one is bubbles are all spherical comma all of the same size d b, this is another assumption you just see d b, d subscript b diameter of the bubble comma and all follow Davidson model. Full stop. Thus, bed contains bubbles surrounded by, thus bed contains bubbles surrounded by thin clouds rising through emulsion. Full stop. Another uh, continues the same para. We ignore the upflow of gas through the cloud, because the cloud volume is small compared to that of bubble. This is the regime where u b is far greater than u e, u b, u b is the bubble raised velocity. This is the regime where u b far greater than u e, u e is emulsion velocity that I think already we have told, u b is the bubble raised velocity, okay, that is one. Second one is, second assumption is, of course, inside that there are many assumptions. Second point is, the emulsion stays at minimum fluidization conditions, comma, thus the relative gas solid velocity stays constant in the emulsion. Good. I mean, so all these things are given in the paper which I have given you, you know, in the last class. Okay. The, these are given in the for, formula wise also. So, next one is, next uh, assumption is, each bubble drags up a wake of solids behind it. Full stop. This generates a circulation of solids in the bed. This generates a circulation of solids in the bed, comma, upflow behind the bubbles, comma, and downflow everywhere else in the bed. Okay? Yeah, this is also a good point. Already I discussed that, but I think it should be in your notes also. Uh, next one is full stop there. If the downflow of solids is rapid enough, then gas upflow in the emulsion is impeded, comma, can actually stop, comma, and even reverse itself. That means gas can come down and reverse it. Okay? Yeah, full stop. Such a downflow of gas has been observed experimentally and recorded, comma, and occurs when this is very important again u0 greater than 3 to 11 umf, 3 to 11, 3 to 11 umf, 3 mf, 3 umf to 11 umf, okay. And all our industry industrial reactors will definitely operate in this regime. So, that is why the justification for bubbling bed model, full stop there. We ignore any upflow or downflow of gas in the emulsion. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have given this uh, all this information in the in this sheet. Hopefully, you have not thrown this sheet, right? Okay. So, if you have that sheet, you can see that. You can see that. In fact, figure seven and eight that will give all the information about what I have told you till now. Of course, so the spherical bubbles we are assuming and each of them are having uniform d b. Yeah. You see that, you know particularly figure 7, we have divided that entire thing into three regions and uh, left hand side what we have the fluidized bed, where all the things are given arrows, where we have cloud, bubble, wake and all that for one bubble and uh, three zones are, have been identified. So, then gas is going up in the bubble phase with the delta the fraction and clouds and wake is the next region, I am talking about figure 7 and figure 8 also of course, it is given. And then 1 minus delta is the total fraction of uh, you know clouds and wakes plus emulsion together, delta is the bubble fraction, I, I will tell you all that a little bit later. Okay? So, that is the essential picture, which we would like to draw once, because I think if it is there on that book itself, I do not know whether you will really get it or not. So, this uh, yeah, let us see the simple fluidized bed, this is u 0, 
then uh, we have the bubble cloud, we have this wake also. So, then one more bubble somewhere here, one more bubble somewhere here, the rest are solids. Yeah. So, then here I can write, please write once, this is cloud, this is bubble, yeah. So, this will be emulsion, and uh, maybe this one alone if I write here, okay. this is wake. Excellent, good. So, solids may come down, uh, they, they have to come down anyway, not may come down. These are the solids coming down and mostly gas is going up. Uh, this velocity we can write as all the bubbles together as U b and uh, there is emulsion gas also coming down or up, this we can cannot say how it goes, that is why this is plus or minus emulsion gas, these are the solids, all that, very nice, good. So, then we also have one single bubble, very large bubble, yeah, that is the cloud. So, then now we will have this kind of hunchback, just to exaggerate and tell you that is the wake. Okay. So, here I have the solids and if I mark approximately this is the, you know like we do, one bubble we take out and we have written. Even in the last class or last but one or one or two classes, we can still uh, connect this one with the first class what we have done. Okay, one particle taking out and writing balance and uh, one bubble taking out, one drop taking out, the same thing. So, all this is emulsion, this is clear boundary of uh, cloud, okay. these are the solids, okay. this is emulsion. Right. So, if this one bubble, first we have to draw the picture of how the concentration is going and you may have one or two few particles inside the bubble also. right? So, that was experimentally found again. So, you will have first the transfer between these two, this is the transfer. arrows. Okay. So, this we call it as K B C, I hope K B C has a different meaning, but here between bubble and cloud. Okay. Yeah. So, then you also have now cloud and emulsion, this is emulsion by the way. this is cloud, this is wake, and emulsion cloud, yeah of course, this is bubble inside itself I can write. Yeah. So, this, this is uh, K B C and this one is K C E, K C E, C means cloud. E means emulsion, cloud to emulsion, B means bubble and C means cloud, cloud and wake together. Cloud and wake together we will put together. Okay. So, in uh, drawn in a different way once more, this is our imagination now for model writing. This is emulsion, so this is cloud and wake and here we have Imagination is that all the gas is trying to go through this, but some of it will also go through this. Okay. So, this is the one, this is bubble phase, yeah. 
bubble and we here we have cloud plus wake and here we have emulsion. Yeah, all solids here. Okay, so here also solids, but of course here there are very thin uh, solids only. And uh, okay, yeah. So this is what is the transfer we have been telling. So this will be K B C. This will be K C E. Good. So, what we are trying to do now is we take a thin, uh, yeah, okay. Another beautiful assumption here is that this gas which is going through the bubbles is it in plug flow or mixed flow? Plug flow, okay. Very obviously, plug flow. That is one assumption. But uh, Kuni, Leon, Spiel, uh, they, they have not done that. But in the earlier model, Davidson and uh, Harrison model, so they have tried all possibilities, right? So, they tried that, okay, let me also try the n number of tanks in series and also perfect mixing in the bubble phase and dispersion in the bubble phase, all kinds of things they tried, okay. That was the first model. So, here we take a small uh, balance delta z here. This is z this is z plus d z. So, the thickness will be d z and here okay this is moving with ub bubbles ub right and then we have the transfer to cloud and wake then transfer to yeah emulsion cloud and wake to emulsion right so what we do is we try to write the um, in terms of words first what is happening, how the reaction is taking place, then we try to write that in terms of steps, then we get the equation. Okay? For example, minus R A, minus R A would be you have to get, right? Yeah. So, uh, that is written slightly in uh, because it is a plug flow model where you have already derived this kind of thing. So, this is delta z, okay, I think maybe uh, del thickness I will write here d z. Good. You see now that you know here whatever gas is going into this, it has to come back and then join in the bubbles and then come out. Okay. Yeah. But overall picture, what I see here, this is the real one. That is the real one. Then this is what I imagine between any bubble. So I am now combining all the bubbles as this fraction. And then we are trying to write this. Exactly same thing what we have discussed in the first class. Right. Okay. Good. So now, uh, yeah, uh, Anurag, anything? No, okay, good. So now let us write, yeah, the balance equation for this. That is the mass balance of A, yeah, and isothermal conditions. Okay, Th that somewhere you have to write. Definitely isothermal conditions. Yeah. So correspondingly here, I can also just show you when you have Z here, you have concentration. Okay, this is C A naught. This is C A at the end because we are now writing for the. Uh, reaction rate, right? Okay. So then, this is correspondingly here. I have C A, and here C A plus D C A. Correct? No, that small change. Like exactly when you are writing plug flow, first time when we wrote the balance, F A equal to F A plus D F A, okay, into rate and volume, a similar thing. It is not given in any book, but I thought I will write that once to you so that you will be. Uh, I mean, happy to know that uh, thing. What is really happening? One uh, balance, and here, and of course, the problem uh, with uh, these things is, you know, in the earlier book he has given this uh, uh, solids fraction, solids available in the bubble phase per unit volume of bubbles, and in cloud and wake per unit volume of bubbles, and in emulsion also based on per unit volume of bubbles. That is what is basis earlier, but now we have changed that and then written solids per unit volume of bed and again cloud and wake solids per unit volume of bed that means entire bed. So, that is changed a little bit, but I think 
if you are uh, having edition 3, um, all of you will have only edition 3, learn spell book, then I think this and what I am going to write will be tallying that. Okay? Good. So, that is the one and uh, where do you write? I think I have to go here. So, the material balance for M B for A, oh, okay. So, before that I have to also write here the rate what we have is minus R A into K C A first order rate, no volume expansion. You see how many simplified things, okay, so that we will learn, we will not be lost totally. So, that is the reason. So, where this is given as, uh, I think this I have to be careful, that is given as a rate in terms of uh, so, this is moles per meter cubed solids per second, m dot s in the bracket means meter cubed of solids. So, what will be the units of k? k units are meter cubed gas that is you know mole okay? and uh, you have meter cubed solid per second, those are the units of K okay, for heterogeneous system. In effect, you know, because there is no volume expansion, it is a first order rate. If you dimensionally cancel out meter cubed, meter cubed, what do you get? Time inverse, okay. but I think you know, it is meter cubed gas, meter cubed solid per time. right? Okay, good. So, that is the one. This is also very important for us. Now, uh, what you write is the balance overall rate of A overall okay, overall rate of A must be equal to reaction in bubbles plus transfer to cloud and wake. Okay. So, what is the next one now? Next step is transfer to transfer to cloud and wake no oh, equal to ha huh? that's all huh? reaction in clouds and wake there must be reaction no first then transfer so reaction in reaction in cloud and wake plus transfer to transfer to emulsion next one rachit now you tell me transfer to emulsion must be only reaction in emulsion So, now we have to write the corresponding equations for this. Okay? So, when I want to write for this one first, so again I think I will take uh, yeah, this trip. Okay? So, now we have to write here, yeah, um, you know from uh, this is molar balance, what we write there. So, if I write, I think uh, it will be sufficient. Huh? Okay. I will first write that. Okay. So, entering into this A is U U C A U C A at Z. What are the units of that? It is a flux. Okay. So, moles of A per meter square bubble, because it is a flux, 
Okay. So, here we are talking about only the bubbles, right? So, meter square bubbles second that is the time flux and now multiplied by meter square bubbles, because finally, this balance is in terms of moles per uh, moles per second. So, what is the fraction of bubbles here? It is delta uh, cross sectional area, if we the total cross sectional area is AC, D is the delta fraction of bubbles for the per uh, unit volume of the bed. So, this will be delta into AC, AC is the cross sectional area. Okay. So, now this will be in fact, this will be meter square bubble, meter square. Uh, okay. So, when I cancel out this plus this, you will get only that one. So, now this is equal to exactly the same thing at z equal to this is very easy, yeah, d z and I have uh, delta a c all that at, at uh, delta at uh, z plus d z. Now, plus you have reaction in bubbles plus okay, well, right here. Reaction in bubble is minus R A. I think maybe this will take some time. So, plus minus R A, what are the units? Moles per meter cubed solids per second, right. So, that multiplied by a factor called F B, F B, F B is meter cubed solids. per meter cubed bed okay that is the second term you know that is the reaction term yeah so multiplied by yeah volume of the entire bed because meter cubed of the bed okay so uh, what is volume ac into dz excellent this is meter cubed of the bed yeah, but unfortunately, I have to go to that side that is still plus, plus here, what is the next one? Transport, right. So, the transport is KBC, KBC is defined as volume of gas, okay, meter cubed gas per meter cubed bubbles. per second. In fact, this will be if you see now K B C is nothing but again meter cubed meter cubed if I get cancelled you will get again seconds inverse. Okay. So, that is the one and into yeah concentration, concentration is C A B minus C A C R that is one important thing. Yes. Okay. So, here yeah please write there this is C A B and here also you can write. C A B, this is C A C, here I have C A C and here I have C A E. I and mean, with that picture, the thing should be very, very clear. Good? Yeah, my God, I think. Yeah, so the, the, the units of this will be moles per meter cubed gas, right? Moles per meter cubed gas, that is concentration unit. Okay, now, this multiplied by we have delta, delta where delta is uh, yeah, volume will come later meter cube uh, meter cubed bubbles by meter cubed bed right. Okay. Now, this multiplied by A C D Z, A C D Z where it is meter cube bed. Now, if we cancel out all that throughout you will get moles per second, I think this is clear. So, the moment you cancel out terms like for example, uh, yeah, here U C A, 
delta A C. This side also you have E C A delta A here. You will have C A plus uh, correspondingly to here, this is C A plus D C A. Correct, no? At that, yeah, I think that I have to write, I say. Yeah, yeah, here, here, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, but I think if it is understood, fine. But otherwise, this is plus D C A. The concentration at, okay, I think let me write that also. This is D C A. Okay, of course, another, uh, good. So, correspondingly, you cancel out that. And also, A is throughout common, A C. A C is throughout common. Every term has A C. You cancel out. What you get is, uh, okay, minus U B delta D C A by D Z. And of, of course, if I bring that D Z the other side, then what you get here is equal to minus R A F B plus K B C K B C delta C A B minus C A C. Okay, maybe I think I will write first delta and then. delta kbc okay so that is the equation what you get there yeah so, but what is minus ra i have here okay let me write delta also here ub dc by dz equal to this is uh, k fb kca first order but ca b correct no in the bubble when i take a small volume i have taken that that huh? no no i have written only here i have written the first one the other two is for you to write <laughs> okay the other two are very simple no transfer already we have this so that must be equal to reaction that is equivalent term is this reaction term so the third one is transfer term which is exactly same as that one but with ca e and ca cac and cae so all that is simple Okay, so this is the one plus this is first order reaction. Then I have uh, okay delta K B C C A B C A C. This is equation one. Good. So if I write the same thing now, that means for the second step, for this step, that will be delta K B C same equation na C A C no C A B minus C A C equal to yeah F C F C K C A C plus delta K C E C E second one so into C A C minus C A E that is equation two. Good, yeah. Okay. What is the next one? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Delta K C. Delta K C E. C A C. C A E equal to reaction. What is the reaction? F E. K C A E. This is the one. So now you will have a pleasure in the examination hall. So you have to eliminate C A E using this one. Then it you will get in C A C and go to this step. C A C you have to substitute there, okay? And then uh, uh, yeah. So then you have uh, yeah C A E you get in terms of C A C. Then you will get this everything in terms of C A C. Of course C B will be there. And then finally C A C you substitute here in terms of C B. Finally, you will get the equation. You know what kind of equation you get? Very beautiful equation you get. So I have also done. Huh? I have also done. You see, so many pages. All this. Okay. So finally, I have done. But I don't give you this because you know you have to do on your own. Then only you will enjoy it. Okay. Good. So what you get here is this will be as it is. So when you solve equation one, two, three, and eliminate unknown concentrations again, class one. Okay. 
So, unknown concentrations you have to eliminate and express everything in terms of known thing. Then what you get there after that is this kind of equation where minus delta u b d c a by d z equal to capital K or overall K O okay, K O overall into C A B. So, this is equation number 4, where K O okay, I think I would write here uh, okay, where K O equal to yeah, K O equal to F B small k plus I have to go till that point 1 this will be delta k C e plus again all this 1 F C k plus again all this 1 here 1 by delta k c e plus 1 by f e k. So, this is k. Yeah. Very nice equation, no? Very nice equation. See, this is series parallel problem. This is the first time I think you have come across series parallel. Even though I give in the small, small problems in the examination. I think this one I gave parallel step, series and parallel, right? Yeah, but I think, uh, yeah, th th this is the one and you can see, this is the one, well, yeah, F B, you know the meaning, volume of solids divided by volume of bed. Like that, F C is volume of solids in a cloud divided by volume of bed and F E is the, again, solid volume of solids divided by volume of bed and all other things you know, okay, right. So, uh, K B C is the exchange coefficient between, K B C is the exchange coefficient between bubble and then cloud. Huh? This is K C E, uh, this is, no, this is K B C. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think, I think, I've, yeah, that is right, that is K B C. Then this is K C. Okay, and now we can easily integrate this. Oh, sorry, yeah. this is B, C B. It's only bubble. Yeah, here also I have to write this. Yeah. Okay, what is the solution for that? Very simple. Integrating. Yeah, C A B by C A naught equal to one minus X A equal to e power minus yeah minus k naught z by because you know integrate between 0 and z yeah yeah k naught z by u b and that is at any z okay so, if I say that my this z equal to h f, z equal to 0, correct no? Oh, delta is there, sorry, delta u b, yeah. So, uh, if I, yeah, k 0, this z equal to h f, then we will have 1 minus x a equal to e power minus capital K naught h f by yeah h f by delta u b. So, this is the equation. And now, we have to, oh my god, time, okay. So, now, we have to find out equations for 
delta f b k will be given kinetics right so like that f c k c e k b c and f e and also before that what is u b okay so these are the unknowns for us right so if i want to use this equation if you want to use this equation to calculate conversion for a given height or if conversion is given you have to find out the height of the bed okay that height of the bed can be converted into the solids total weight of the solids because height if you know bulk density if you know you can always calculate uh, what is the total weight of the solids so all that so to calculate this i need all those parameters and let us do that now so all my nice diagrams what do i do good of course we have a relationship relationships like hf equal to w by rho s ac cross sectional area into 1 minus epsilon f because when you want to calculate that in terms of w right so this is very i don't know whether you get the point or not this is very easy if i write 1 minus epsilon f epsilon f is the void edge of the bed okay 1 minus epsilon is the solid fraction okay so that is nothing but you have weight divided by this is the volume of the bed hf into ac and into the the, the density bulk density okay yeah here it comes true density not bulk density because 1 minus epsilon f i have rho s into 1 minus epsilon is the bulk density okay please remember that don't make that mistake because you think that you have done correctly in the exam and you will scold me okay <laughs> okay good so now to find out the other parameters first we have to start with uh, u b r you need you know because u b i have to find out this is u b u b is not i think here also i have to just explain that's why you know it takes a lot of time for me i think i have to take some extra class if you want to finish before thursday okay so but anyway that we will see yeah u b is the bubble swarm velocity that means all the bubbles how they are moving that is u b okay u b r is one single individual bubble that is rising in the emulsion so that is the starting point for us so i will write here bubbling bed parameters these are all parameters which we should know <coughs> okay see the beauty here is at the end at the end that means when i substitute everything uh, equations for corresponding fb delta all that you will get an equation in terms of only db diameter of the bubble epsilon mf umf and uh, i think uh, hmf because hmf is nothing but your hp height of the packet bed epsilon mf is nothing but your uh, packet bed porosity again and then uh, db is the only parameter which you have to measure that's why sometimes it is called one parameter mode uh, model but the main problem abhinav there is that how do you estimate this db very accurately that's all entire thing goes to estimation of db even now we don't have very good methods of estimation of db in the fluid aged beds so if if you are interested i told you know i can give you 110 problems in in uh, fluidization this is the one of the biggest problems what we have okay and the other assumption like uh, uniform solid uh, uniform bubble size is can be extended with delta x because what we do is okay in 1 meter what is the bubble size so another 1 meter because you know bubbles grow that's what what we have shown that is the reality so you make this one as slices of the bed then okay in first 0 to 1 meters i will have let us say 5 cm bubbles then next one 10 cm bubbles then next one meter 15 cm bubbles so i can measure that some measurements are there how the bubbles are growing there are some equations empirical equations but even then they are not true representation because when it is particularly 3d 3d bed 3d bed we don't know what is happening inside the bed at the center you cannot see okay at the center unless you again 
take you know it goes to technology it goes to sophisticated instrumentation which is nothing but you know sophisticated technology to measure i don't know whether you have seen uh, a movie called total recall long time back huh excellent arnold schwarzenegger uh, you will get s s grade now <laughs> arnold schwarzenegger so they have a security system because you know they go from mars to uh, earth and earth to mars like we go to you know our uh, out gate and in gate okay so so frequently they travel in that movie because that is highly sophisticated uh, you know science fiction movie so then there is a security system where you know now if you go to airport or if you go to even uh, this coimbedu bus stand and all that they ask you to remove all your clothes they ask you to remove all your uh, whatever you have in the <laughs> bags recently they have also stripped you know our uh, shahrukh khan yeah so all kinds of things will happen but here the fun the thing is you can just move in the corridor the corridors are just you know fitted with the x rays every part of you will be seen by the security people every part i think there is no secrecy at all <laughs> you cannot hide anything okay so then the moment you have gun or something that is extra thing you know easily they can find out so probably similarly we should also develop that kind of instruments where the moment you put something between the bed you, know, you put the bed between and these measurement techniques everything you should be able to see every part of the bed then you can measure very accurately all the bubbles what is happening at each and every point that is left to you for your future phd okay and then your name will be like leon spear everyone will take abhinav abhinav's model abhinav's model okay <laughs> yeah so that kind of great uh, name you can get provided you know you do all that you know there are many many things which you can uh, really do in fluidizer but see one now see one now good so the first one is bubble rise velocity bubble rise velocity ubr is 0.711 gdb do you remember this equation this is nothing but you know taylor uh, taylor uh, equation for bubble uh, dynamics or, or you know, bubble diameter when you have simple liquid and then gas going in okay that constant is different this constant is adjusted to fluidized bed and that was derived by you know davidson okay it is adjusted because i told you he was excellent expert in gas uh, liquid systems bubble columns davidson okay so that is the one and because it is uh, empirical constant we should mention definitely what are the units please remember uh, always when you have empirical constants okay that is why we are happy to convert them into dimensionless numbers so that you don't have to remember any constant so that this should be only in meters per second so that means this must be in uh, si units this must be in si units and of course this you will get automatically that constant 0.77 that is uh, okay my equations gone so this is 5 6 7 that is 8 so this will be 9 good so then bubble this is a single bubble huh? bubble rise velocity bubble single okay i can also write here single bubble rise velocity okay then swarm of bubble okay bubble swarm velocity sometime this bubble swarm velocity U B equal to U zero minus U M F plus U B R. Yeah, this also must be in meters per second because if you are using this equation, this is ten, right? So the here the assumption is that you have the bubbles just rising. Okay, no, no, okay. You have the stationary bed, right? Stationary bed, and imagine that you have number of bubbles there just staying. then you suddenly change the velocity from u0 umf to u0 the difference of uh, these two will give you so much amount of gas that is just pushing 
Okay, so already you be are having some velocity as a single bubble. Then the moment you increase that, it will simply go. Like exactly, you walk on the uh, this conveyor belt in the airports and all that. Okay, so initially conveyor belt velocity equal to zero, right? So, but you are walking on that. You are walking on that. So then suddenly someone came and then switched on. Conveyor belt. Then what will be your velocity with respect to solid uh, coordinates? I mean, you know, stationary coordinates. Okay, so that is the one, right? So that's why this. I mean, there is a lot of derivations for this one again. Yeah. So this is another uh, thing. Then we have bubble fraction. Bubble fraction delta equal to. U zero minus U M F. There are lot of equations for that, but so many assumptions are there. Yeah. So this is nothing but meter cube bubbles by meter cube bed. So this equation is eleven, uh, and this also can be written as you know if I substitute correspondingly. U zero minus U M F here, right? U zero minus U M F. If I write, then I will have one minus U B R by U B. Confusion? Huh? Yeah, simply this U zero minus U M F, U B minus U B R. Okay, good. So this is the one, and for U B the same equation delta, the same equation. If I have uh, U B far greater than U M F. We can use, yeah, yeah, from this equation, we can use simply delta equal to U not, sorry, not U not by U B. U not by U B. This has some, uh, but this is for very very large values. So when you are going for very very large values, in fact you can see now, delta u zero u b. You now just see there in that equation, delta u b equal to u naught. But lot of assumptions, assumptions. Because we cannot do better than that. That's all. Lot of assumptions are there. We cannot do anything else, or the uh, beyond this. Okay, good. So this is another uh, equation for delta. So now you have values for two parameters. U B, you have value delta. You have values. You know how to calculate. But everything is in terms of basic variables like U zero, the amount of gas you are sending. Even if it is not U zero, it is U zero and U M F, and U B. U B is again in terms of U M F, right here. And U B R is the basic equation. Okay, A single raised bubble velocity. So all these things. Good. So the next one is let us say K B C. Okay, KBC. KBC is, of course, I will write the equation and then try to write the. Um, okay, KBC equal to four point five zero UMF by dB plus. Five point eight five. This is uh, diffusivity, gas diffusivity, d. G. This is to the power of half. This is to the power of one by four. One by four. D b to the power of five by four. So that is the equation you have to use to calculate KBC, and uh, KBC definition is interchange volumes of gas between B and C. Or vice versa, okay? B and C. 
divided by volume of bubbles into time. So, in effect again interchange volume, volume and volume will get cancelled, you will have only seconds inverse. I mean, dimensionally, strict dimensions if you apply. Okay, good. So then we have KCE. KCE is the simple equation: six point seven seven epsilon mf. Again, yeah, I think you have right here. Uh, the dB, you know, umf, you know, right? And uh, d to the power of half. This d is molecular diffusivity of gas to gas. Okay. Yeah, and g is acceleration due to gravity. That's no problem. Yeah. So epsilon mf, and here also the same diffusivity d into u b r divided by d b cubed into d b cubed. So uh, equations, huh? So this is another form. I think I don't have to give equation. So, this will be 12, this will be the 13. Okay. So, what is KCE definition now? Volumes of gas exchanging between yeah, cloud and emulsion per unit volume of the bubbles per second. Okay. Good, that is the one KCE. Then we have this uh, parameter FB. It is generally given 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1 volume of solids, meter cubed solids by meter cubed bed. This is estimate from experiment. This is this estimation is only from the experiment. Experimentally, they measured and then they know what is the total volume of the solids in the bubbles, then that is expressed per unit weight of the uh, per unit volume of the bed. Okay, good. So then next one is you have FC. FC is delta into 1 minus epsilon mf and uh, yeah, multiplied by 3 u m f by epsilon m f that is one parameter divided by u b r single rise bubble velocity minus epsilon m f by sorry u m f by epsilon m f again plus alpha yeah so this is equation uh, number uh, 14 you know do you remember alpha yeah that is what is that so that should be given to you that is also experimentally measured value in the problem definitely that will be given to you i have already given i think you have not thrown no last time i have given you some assignment okay in that also it is mentioned if you want to throw it you can come to my room and throw in my dustbin i can take it and do use it Okay, good. So, this is F c. Then next one is F e. Oh my god. Time. Huh? Yeah. So, next parameter is F c, F e. F e again is volume of solids in per unit volume of volume of solids in emulsion divided by volume of the bed. Right. Yeah. That I think you have to write down somewhere. So, this equation is very simple in the sense. 1 minus epsilon m f into 1 minus delta minus f c minus f b. So, this is the equation and this one is nothing but 1 minus epsilon f. Good, no? So, this is also same like for example, uh, if I bring f c and f b this side, what will happen? I have FC, FB and FE. What are that entire thing? Total solids. That is nothing but 1 minus epsilon F, because epsilon F is the wide edge. 1 minus epsilon F is solid fraction. So, that is what? That balance is. 
simple to understand. So, this is another equation, this is 15. Okay, good. So, other equations I have given. Yeah, good. I think uh, so. This is the one, and now you have all the equations, and uh, you see, for example, F uh, C. F C is again in terms of only UMF and epsilon MF, and delta is in terms of again UMF, right? U zero and UMF, right? So then uh, what else? Yeah, all this uh, F C, yeah, F E also will come in the same way. Yeah, K B C is again in terms of UMF, right? All these things are known a priori to you. U, UMF will be known, epsilon MF will be known to you, right? And of course, the properties like diffusivities, acceleration due to gravity, all that you know. If you convert this entire equation in terms of only dB, only dB, right? So the dB you can vary so that you can also fit the data with your experiment. That is what exactly they have done in this figure one this corner is their kuti figure. Okay. So, they have mentioned you know different uh, diameters for intermediate large bubbles and all that sorry uh, uh, small particles d p and all that. Yeah, uh, I think uh, none of you have brought the book you know Levin Spiel book. Yeah, if you go to uh, this is d p which is representation of what kind of bubbles you get, but if you go to Levin Spiel figures and then see you will also see in terms of db written db 10 centimeters db 5 centimeters db 30 centimeters db means diameter of the bubble so that is why there is a single parameter db which you have to use finally to calculate conversion in the bubbling fluid h bed that is why levin spiel model is very very beautiful and very very appreciated levin spiel and kuni model okay good so i think uh, uh, anything else uh, equations yeah, Savita, anything else missing for calculating that? Uh, first of all, you have to calculate K0. For K0, you need FB, FC, FE, all that you know, deltas you know, KBC, KCE, you know, no problems. Right? Yeah. And UB, you know, yeah, so you can calculate very easily. Good? So, uh, yeah, like you know, you have the delta equation, delta equal to U0 minus UMF and all that. But there is a very big. Uh, derivation for that, but we are simply accepting that it is acceptable. I have, I have that derivation, it is, yeah, this is the one for example, you see, cut across a cross section, imagine that all the gas is in one bubble, that is delta, all the bubbles are in one bubble imagination, then the rest is 1 minus delta, right. So, now through delta, delta is the bubble phase, Davidson uh, has already calculated through the bubbles, how much gas is flowing. Okay. So, what he has calculated is delta into uh, u 0, total u 0 is splitted into delta into u b plus 3 u m f, that is the delta part. right? What is the other part? Other part is 1 minus That is the you know you imagine this okay I think maybe if I have a cross section something like this and a bubble like this and the remaining is going down okay so this is delta this is one minus delta Davidson has given in this one what is the amount of gas that is going this is nothing but your U B plus 3 umf he has derived that equation and in the other one you have 1 minus delta in this 1 minus delta how much gas is going 1 minus delta is what first of all delta is the bubble fraction our imagination wise the entire yeah other i think is solids okay so solids are supposed to be at what velocity umf that is all. This is nothing but 1 minus delta into umf. So, now you can calculate delta here as uh, u 0 minus umf, if I solve for this u b plus 3 umf, that is the basic equation. Okay? That is the basic equation, where if uh, 
if if u b is approximately equal to phi u m f, yeah, then you will have delta equal to u 0 minus u m f by u b, where 2 m f? No, no, I mean see this is very very approximate right this one huh? oh sorry yeah. right, right. 2 m f thank you thank you thank you yeah so this is an approximate one where you get this kind of one then if you go for still very very far then your delta is simply u 0 by u 0 by u b there are many many approximations that is why I want to tell you just one derivation I, I just would like to tell you you know what kind of things they have done but now you see this one is also is a complete paper where they used Higbee's penetration theory to get KCE equation that is the amount of gas that is going into the emulsion from clouds. Okay. So, that like that for each and every one there, there is a lot of theory behind, but finally constants and all that adjusted with empiricism with experiments and then finally this wonderful model has come. Good. I think we will stop here and tomorrow first hour we will meet.